A fanged ghost with the face of a kangaroo. A shy soul with an irresistible musk desired the world over. This is the Siberian musk deer. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufo, and you're watching Animal Logic. The Siberian musk deer is one of several species of musk deer in the Moscidae family. They can be found in the mountains and grasslands of Northeast Asia, but they're most commonly found in the snowy mountain forests of Siberia, hence their name. Their fangs are more like daggers, which they use to protect their territories. In this land of frigid scarcity, controlling a productive plot of land is the difference between life and death in Siberia's dead cold of winter. Despite being called deer, they actually have more in common with animals in the Bovidae family than the true deer in the family Cervidae. They are in their own family and are more closely related to antelopes, cows, sheep, and goats than they are to reindeer, elk, red deer, and mooses. For one thing, male Siberian musk deer don't have antlers like their cervid friends. Instead, they have a pair of tusks, which look like fangs. They can reach about 10 centimeters long, and they never stop growing their whole lives. Older males tend to have the largest tusks. Cervids have preorbital glands near their eyes, which they use to mark their scent, communicate with other animals, and spray pheromones. But the musk deer's scent glands aren't on their faces. They're all the way round back. That powerful musk is a pro and a con for the male Siberian musk deer. The pro? Those pheromones help them attract females during the mating season. The con? They're being poached. A lot. For the last 5,000 years, people have been obsessed with capturing and selling the musk glands so they can be used in perfume, medicine, and other luxury items. And they're so tiny, they measure 60 to 100 centimeters lengthwise and weigh about 15 kilograms. Musk deer are ruminants, meaning they consume relatively calorie-poor food that gets fermented in their digestive tract to extract all the available nutrients. Despite their scary-looking fangs, Siberian musk deer are herbivores. But in the frozen hills of Siberia, which can get to minus 70 degrees Celsius, colder than the average temperature of Mars, there isn't much to eat in the winter. Their menu is limited to pine needles, leaves, bark, maple, honeysuckle, shoots, but mostly lichen. In the cold winters, when food is scarce, the Siberian musk deer is able to survive on lichens that grow on evergreen trees. They make up to 99% of their winter diet. Siberian musk deer are shy and cautious animals, who are mostly active from dusk till dawn. They're typically found by themselves or in small groups of two or three. And usually those groups are a mama musk deer with their babies. The deer's small body helps it run fast and hide from predators in tiny openings in their rocky terrain. Lynx, wolverines, and the yellow-throated marten are the greatest predators of this little ungulate. Siberian musk deer live about 10 to 20 years. Because of illegal poaching and deforestation, musk deer populations are declining. The species is considered vulnerable and heading towards becoming endangered. Hopefully, as we continue to work towards preserving their ecosystems, we'll give them a chance not only to survive, but also to thrive.